Hi, I'm Omid and I come back with another amazing tip related to replacing a value in the Power Query. Consider this example. In this case, we have lots of ID and I'm going to replace the ID if it includes QQ with null. So consider this one. It's include QQ, so it should be replaced by null. But usually when we select these columns and use the replace value, for example, QQ with something different, for example, dash, 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 and press OK. See, it's presented just replace the QQ with the selected parameters. And if I replace this one with not, it provides error for all the cases. And another case is that when I select these columns and press replace value and say QQ with not, When I press OK, see, I do not select this one. When I press OK and come back to the function, you can see that automatically it's going to check this one, match entire cell contents. So you cannot replace directly the whole cell by NARS if it's include a specific parameters. To address this problem, we take two different scenarios. First, using add a new columns, Second, using the replace functions based on what we learned by adding a column. So let's press cancel, replace, remove these steps and consider this ID. I say add a new column and say text contains. So if the ID is contains QQ. And see the result of this formula okay it provides true for these and false for this row because it's not include QQ back to the formula I write if text that contain this one then provide null else provide ID and see the result yeah it provide null for the cells that include QQ. This is a good function. I can use it inside my replacing function. So based on this explanation back here and select these columns. I'm going to the home tab and replace QQ with something different. For example, dash dash and press OK. See, this is a function. It mentioned that replace QQ with dash dash and this is a replacement function. This is what we need to do. Let's copy this function, press fx and paste it here. This is a specific function. Receive three arguments and do the replacement. Actually, the first argument is the text, the value provided in the cells, and the old argument is qq, and the third argument is dash dash, what is going to replace it. So based on this, I'm going back and remove this part by using my own functions. Let's define it A, B, C. A is the value presented here. B came from here and C is this. Let's replace this one with no. And here I'm going to use the function that we wrote by adding a column. If text contains if the value the id presented here which presented by a contains qq we can write qq directly or we can refer to b let's refer to b b came from here if this is then provide null else provide the value presented here a instead of null i can write the value presented here See, by doing this, you do not need to add a column, remove the previous one, and rename it afterwards. You can replace the whole cells based on its specific parts.